I would very much like to start with the iPad mini, uh, which I think is the biggest, certainly the, the, the device that has the most change that we mm-hmm. are seeing for this. And man, like that device really makes me like, that's the thing that I am going to order first. In fact, I should have already mm-hmm. ordered it, but instead I'm doing this show. So hopefully there are some left, but, um, but yeah, that iPad mini, that's a, that's a pretty, pretty uh, interesting thing. We have uh let's see, I'm, I'm looking at it here. So we do this show audio and video as Many listeners probably know we really try to prioritize um, the audio portion of this since most of you are are listening Uh, with these reaction shows. We sometimes will allow ourselves the opportunity to to focus on the video. But I I am sharing some of the images that I captured from the uh, from the event, including Apple always puts out these feature grids, which I really, really like because it. It allows us to see all of the things that they have put into these devices. And the iPad mini feature grid, of course, starts with it being an 8.3 inch uh, display edge to edge. They it's still got touch ID, which they moved to the bezel like they did with the uh, with the other Air, iPad, which I like. Correct. Yeah. I'm, I'm still torn on Apple's hesitancy to offer. <sighs> I'll say right now it's kind of a mess, okay? And that's just my personal what you, what, opinion. What part of it's in, a mess? In, 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 what I think is a mess is that there is a... Uh, you either have Touch ID or Face ID. Correct. And it's kind of willy-nilly as far as what technology they offer. No Apple device that I know of offers both. I wish they could, but they don't as yeah, of yet. They could, I don't think they will. Mm-hmm. I think devices that move to Face ID will remain Face ID. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know, say, I mean, Face ID, you've got to put more uh, more sensors in to do that, mm-hmm. right? And so I think it's a I think it's a cost thing as well as you know you don't want to have to dedicate part of the bezel to Face ID with an iPad, which you're going to be putting you know multiple hands on and that sort of mm-hmm. thing. So it's not as awkward. I I think I think it's it, I think there's a lot of thought put into would touch ID be be awkward on this device and on a phone, mm. it, you know, without a if, if you had to touch the top of your phone, right, because the home button's gone. Right. Mm. So they're putting it in the bezel when they do these edge to edge things like they have here with the iPad mini. So the question is, is there a an awkward use case for having to touch the edge of the device to wake it up. And with a phone, I think that's like a resounding yes, right? You just want to be able to pull the phone out of your pocket and have it unlocked and look at it. And and so there you go, face ID, right? But whereas with the iPad, you know, it's a two-handed device for most of us. So mm-hmm. to to be to have to touch the button, that's not that big of a deal. You're not, you know, it's not the same function and 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 user experience that you would have with a, with a phone. So I think that's where you're, that's where the difference comes from. Mm-hmm. I, I don't, I, I think it might seem willy nilly, but I don't think it's willy nilly. And in fact, I think if you had touch ID versus face ID versions of all of their devices, which, you know, they have built, right. You know, for at least a mock up, I, I think mm-hmm. you would find that they are making the choice. That's, that's based on the, mm-hmm. you know, on the, on the okay. smoothest wake up experience, whatever they call it. But yeah, I, this 8.3 inch screen, the fact that it supports Apple Pencil 2, the fact right. that it's using USB-C. So all of those accessories eat like, you know, you want to plug it into a hard drive. You want to plug it into Ethernet. You want to do fast charging, all of power delivery, right? All of that stuff now is available to the iPad mini. It it effectively has become, you know, an iPad Pro mini with uh, mm. with all of that, which I really, really like. So, so. You know, uh, although although the iPad Pro has Face ID, if memory serves me, and and of course the iPad Mini doesn't, so it's you know it still sits in between. But uh, yeah, and uh, what else? Five uh, G, right? Or and and they put five G in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's which one is of those... weird. I gotta say because last I checked, I don't think my iPad Air fourth generation is it. I don't think it supports five G. Uh... 
So okay. it's kind of interesting that the mini now does. Now, uh, eventually, I'm sure they're going to migrate all of the iPads to support 5G because, of course. well, why not? Duh. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, of it's course. technologically possible, but I understand segmentation and, yeah, sure. and all yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, the iPad... but yeah, I'm with you in that the, uh, the, the mini, I think, was the most significant upgrade. The other things we're going to talk about shortly were I think more incremental, but this was like wow, they they yeah. you know fixed all the problems or, or issues that a lot date. of people would be like yeah yeah why would I buy this because it has all this old technology and and they 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 fixed that so they fixed it yay. yeah 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 <laughs> yeah you're right the iPad Air is is LTE not not five G I mm-hmm. you know I'm and and of course you know I look at the world as we all do through our own lens I, I'm less and less i see less and less utility for an ipad to have um a a a, a cellular radio in it when most people have seem to have mobile plans on their phones that support tethering so it's like does it make exactly. does it yes. make economic sense to a pay extra f- for those radios in your ipad and then b pay extra for service on that iPad. Mm-hmm. And I suppose it depends on how you're using it, but it, you know, at least certainly for me and with most people that I encounter, and again, I know the plural of anecdote is not data. Mm-hmm. However, <laughs> you know, I, I, I rarely encounter someone who in person anyway, who says, Oh yeah, thank goodness. I have a, you know, a, a cellular radio in my, or a mobile radio in my, in my iPad. But I'm sure you're out there and you're going to let us know feedback at MacGeekCab.com. I would love to hear those use cases. So, but yeah. I, I would too, Dave. But did, did you say feedback at MacGeekCab.com? I said feedback at MacGeekCab.com. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Just making sure. So I, 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 am, I am very likely to order a new iPad mini, but we'll talk about our, actually, we'll talk about our shopping lists at the end of this as we talk through, after we talk through everything. Mm-hmm. So I, I will, I, I, I apologize. I retract my statement. I will issue something later. All right. 